Welcome to this Windows channel and this is another video of features in the Fall Creators Update that are worth it to check out in this full review that we're doing in multiple videos. Um, I decided to do more videos but of smaller time so that uh, people can just take a look at specific items if they want. We're going to talk about Cortana in this one. So Cortana, of course, the first things you'll notice about Cortana is in the settings it's got its own tab now so you can click here and tweak Cortana tweak the permissions and notifications and more of what you are doing with your PC and Cortana of course a lot of people um, are, are, are talking of privacy in Windows 10 and Cortana of course needs to access a lot of your information in order to work well so Cortana gets a lot of improvements in this uh, new um, Fall Creators update. Not only does it actually improve upon whatever changes you want to do or searches you want to do here, because when you do searches, it actually will um, show little cards in here uh, like it didn't do that before. Instead, you know, often it had to open Microsoft Edge to show you something. Now. A lot of the times, instead of opening Edge to show you the page of something you're asking, it's going to show you a little card with the information within that same Cortana window that you have here on the left side all the time. So basically, that is what you need to know is there. Um, of course, Cortana also is um, getting some improvements in how it interacts with your content. Say you go to your mail. In your mail, there's a um, maybe a poster or something. And it says, oh, by the way, uh, that group or that event here, there's an announcement of an event at a certain date, a certain time. Cortana can actually read your emails and see in there that, oh, there's something for that date that you might be interested in. So she can read posters. She can read the information written in there. She can go through your email and now really be, uh, uh, you know, helping you a hundred percent. So she's going to say, oh, you've got that event that was on that poster for that day. Do you want me to add a, a notification or you know, something in your calendar? Or, okay, there's a problem in your calendar because I see that you want to go to that event, but you also have a contact that is, uh, you have a, already a, an appointment there or an hour earlier, or do you want me to change something in there? A lot, lots of improvements with that. Not just there, with Cortana installed on your Android phone or your iPhone. And this, of course, goes to the fact that you need to add your phone to this device. Um, in the new phone tab, so you see here my Android phone is added there. Cortana on Android, on iOS, so on your iPhone 6, 7, 8, is able to interact with you, giving you notifications. So you got a missed call, it's going to show here. That feature was not totally complete yet. It is now. It's working, it's working fine. I actually have that happening regularly, uh, missed calls. So it's pretty cool to let me know that, you know, I've got a new text message. Uh, it's pretty cool to know that I've got a, a call that I've not, um, you know, that I've missed, stuff like that. So this is all Cortana interactions that are happening. And it's pretty, pretty good. Also, you got to know that Cortana has been uh, tested lately. And it's one of the great assistants that works actually very, very well. Better than Siri. Um, of course, the only one that beats Cortana is Google Voice. But it's better than Siri and Alexa, apparently. So all of this coming and a host of devices. We know that the uh, Invoke speaker by Armin Carden is supposed to arrive with its price tag of $249 in the next few months or in the next month or so. Uh, so these are all Cortana related stuff. It's kind of cool to see uh, Cortana advancing with the Fall Creators update. There will be Cortana in a few new markets. Now, one of the things I want to say about Cortana is that I see the frustration of a lot of people from different countries that tell me I don't have Cortana in my language in my own country. I find that sad and I, I totally agree, you know, I totally understand your feeling thinking that, well, you know, I don't have Cortana, it's, 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 it's not fun. 
it's a it, it's a feature that you guys see but I, I don't have it in Romania or I don't have it in you know and problem is Cortana is a very very customized experience for each market so it takes an enormous amount of time to actually create Cortana uh, a Cortana that works within countries and the smaller the market of course the longer it takes and, and some markets will probably never see Cortana working and I do feel for you guys and girls because I know that it's sad to see that you know such a um, a, a assistant might never work in your own country and that that is sad Microsoft Edge getting some new stuff so Microsoft Edge is of course the browser it's uh, getting improvements once again of course extensions we'll have more uh, more extensions and more and more extensions as time goes by with Microsoft Edge now what does it add in Microsoft Edge of course one of the first things is that uh, the menus are, are tweaked a little bit and there's a lot more possibilities of um, you know um, having the settings change from one place to the other uh, if you want to import or export you can now do it easily with pretty much any browser you want now it's not just a question of one browser or a specific browser basically so this is a, a nice little thing cool thing you see here I've got a Google a little Google a little G for Google here well, this is a pinned tab you can now pin your tabs to the taskbar something that was really missing honestly and now you can actually do it with this you can pin any website you have that you want to see to your taskbar for later use something that was missing unfortunately so basically one cool feature a lot of people wanted to have that um, another thing that is just funny because one of the things that you might not see is that Microsoft Edge until now didn't have the possibility to um, basically go full screen with you know every browser goes full screen we gotta understand that every browser does that with F11 well now F11 finally gives you a full screen experience like this so um, I don't know why this took so long I don't see what's the complex issue with that uh, share experience also is uh, much different there's a lot more shared experience now you can share with more apps it's redesigned also the share panel is redesigned for the sharing experience and um, it is pretty good for that other things that are amazing you can now easily read any PDFs so for example if I uh, click here I have a PDF of a magazine that I, I, I look at it's a full PDF not just reader but it's a full PDF modification um, possibility because if you need to fill out a form assign a document if you have a touch screen a pen sign a document from within edge you don't have to install you know Adobe Reader or nothing like that it's just you know crazy uh, modifications coming also to flash in edge where flash is not only now an option but as we're going into 2018 at some point edge is slowly removing the capabilities of having flash so uh, like every other browser uh, being a big problem of course you have to read aloud you can have of course uh, any any PDF read to you you can do modifications to the PDFs uh, you can highlight if you want all of that is available uh, which is pretty cool another feature of edge that is quite cool is the ability to now read EPUBs electronic publication you've got some books you've got an EPUB document of some sort well you don't need to have a reader you can read it within edge now that feature for me is something that is uh, not necessarily that interesting for one reason it's not the best EPUB reader you can get but you know there's so much better yet what I like about the fact that it's in here is that you get a basic EPUB reader so you can actually look at a book quickly uh, you can have it read aloud and uh, you have the table content and everything uh, so you know some improvements with edge uh, okay promise of and that's more on the speculation side maybe 
promise of, of course, better speed, better battery life with Edge when you use Edge to surf the web instead of another browser. And of course, uh, in security, uh, the promise, of course, more security uh, with, you know, more of sandboxing of whatever content is happening on the web. And uh, that is pretty much a big tour of what's new in Edge, which unfortunately not a lot of people use. But anyways, uh, these are some of the things that you'll see in the improved Cortana slash Microsoft Edge area in the fall creators update. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.